Hi everyone, so this is just a quick video to show you how to use the different functions of Paxbin where we're going to be looking at the demo cases and also the test cases and I'm going to show you how to identify, how to identify the adrenal glands and also how you should be measuring the density of the nodules. So this is what the Paxbin interface looks like. You have the, for each of the cases, on the left you can see here the axial and coronal images. Um, and this means it's um, already selected to be on the um, stack scroll tool. So you just have to roll your mouse wheel up and down and the images will scroll. You don't really need to worry about any of these other functions except for zoom. So if you want to zoom and pan, you can kind of magnify the bit you want to look at. So if we scroll down and what we're going to see first with the right side is that um, there is no kidney on this right side, it makes the job a bit trickier. But here we see just next to the crus of the diaphragm, which is this bit here, this kind of uh, V shaped, inverted V shaped structure. This is the right adrenal gland. On the left side, we have got a kidney. And so just off the top of the kidney, there is a left adrenal gland. So that's the, it's an inverted Y. So that's the pointy bit of the Y. And then here, there's an actual lesion here, which we're going to measure. And these are the other limbs of the adrenal gland, the Y bit. So to measure this, what I would suggest you do is first zoom in to make this a bit larger and get it into the middle. You press the A here for toggle annotations. So press the A, and then this is the ROI tool. So we're going to select this, and then you go to one corner, and then you drag. And you're trying to keep your ROI circle entirely within the lesion. You don't want the edge to go towards the edge of the lesion or definitely not beyond. And here we see the first number here is minus 1.76. So on the first measurement, we've got minus measurement. I then would scroll down one slice and then repeat. And we get minus 1.74, so almost identical. Go down one more slice and repeat and it's again minus so this is definitely a, a lesion that's got negative hands for unit measurements if you want to confirm you can go to the coronal view again you can just scroll the mouse wheel and then that will show you the lesion so let's just have a look on the right side this is the lesion here so i'm going to zoom in get it centered so it's this structure here which is like an inverted v and then on the left side here we see one of the limbs over here and this is the is the actual nodule we're measuring so again i can select the roi tool drag this and it comes as minus two so this is definitely a lesion that's got lipid content because it's consistently returning density measurements which are less than 10 in fact they're less than zero so for this one you would not need to proceed to give the contrast. Okay, so here is the second demo case for you. So once again, we've got the axial images and the coronal images. I'm gonna scroll through the axial images and we see that on the right side here, here's the kidney. So we go back up and then once you get towards the top of the kidney, you look here at the front between the crus of the diaphragm, which is this bit of tissue, and the right lobe of the liver, and there is a structure here. So let's zoom in and center it. And we see it's like an inverted V. So we've got one limb here and another limb here. On the left side, here's the kidney. So we come off the top of it, and here's the adrenal gland. And this is the lump, the nodule that we're gonna be measuring. But we see here the rest of the adrenal gland as well the normal limbs so we're going to measure um, the density of this particular uh, nodule so let's zoom in let's get it centered once again we're going to press the a for the annotations and then select this roi tool drag the roi inside the lesion keeping well within but making sure that we make the roi as large as possible and we've got a number of 18 so I'm going to go down one slice and do that again and got 21 and I'm going to go another slice 
and then do that again and it's 24 so you can calculate very roughly the mean of those three numbers in this case they're all over 10 so consistently we're getting a number that's greater than 10 for confirmation you can go to your coronal series scroll through until you get to the the kidneys and then let's just have a look at the normal one on the right side so it's here we've got this inverted v shape structure that's the normal right adrenal on the left side we see that actually there's this um, nodule here and we're not really seeing much of the normal left adrenal so let's just zoom that in pan to get it centered select this roi tool drag the roi and we see 18 so that's consistent with what we measure on the axial images so for this one we would need to proceed to give contrast because consistently the measurements we were getting are over 10 hands for units